As a council member in Union City, we had some serious issues with gang violence. A parent who was a good friend of mine, lost her son at his graduation party. His name was Binium Yifru. And he was 17. He was going to, he was working for an attorney in San Francisco. He was, he was planning to go to law school. At his graduation party, he was shot and killed. <clears throat> the outcome of that was Measure UU. I worked with congregations organizing for renewal, Karen Yifu, who was the mother of Binium, to bring Measure UU to Union City. It passed. It was a parcel tax for public safety, police and fire, and we included a half million dollars per year for the duration of the eight years of that parcel tax. That half million dollars went to a crime prevention youth program preventing violence in Union City, and it's a model that I believe we need to replicate in other communities. I've never been a politician. For four years in high school, I was student council in Montana. I was involved with the youth government. As a deputy sheriff at Santa Rita Jail, I have worked and supervised over 700,000 inmates. For two and a half years, I worked the program dorm at Santa Rita. All these gang bangers Richard talks about, if you ask any one of them who I am, they'll tell you. I have the most rapport with these people. I have turned a lot of lights around at Santa Rita. I've gotten people out of gangs. I've gotten them referrals to jobs. Uh, a hard thing is, is a lot of adult parents in this community deny their kids' involvement in gangs when they're in school. So leadership skills, exposure to the problem, solutions to the problem, that's what I'm all about. We need to get these gangbangers educated and employed so they don't hang out on the streets. Well, thanks very much for the question. I had to prioritize. Um, I have a lot of examples of achievements, uh, but one uh, great story that I wanted to share with you tonight is um, two years ago, last year I authored um, AB 25, which requires a student, a, a student athlete uh, to be pulled from a game or, or play if you sustain a concussion. So if you, if you have children and if they love sports and if they're involved in some sports activity, if they sustain a concussion, they must be pulled from the game and they have to get a healthcare professional's note before they can return to play. Um, one of the friends at the League of uh, Cities uh, came and told me that his kid had a concussion, was pulled, had to go get a doctor's note, and they were a little grumpy about it, you know, they had to go see a doctor. Well, it turned out he had uh, major, major damage uh, in his brain, and he, was, he, he won't be playing for a few years. Uh, but, you know, sent me a note saying I saved Time. his kid's life, and, you know, all the legislations that I've talked about today has a real impact on people's lives, and I'm really honored to have authored that legislation. So thanks for the question.